selecting objects. In AutoCAD, we often want to modify some of the objects that we've already created, and there are various ways to select the objects that you want to modify. So for this tutorial, let's go ahead and open a file that we already have and learn how to select some objects. We'll go to the application menu, we'll go ahead and open, and let's browse to our project files, and we'll select the part.dwg file. And here's a simple part. And let's say we want to make some changes to it, but how do we select the objects that we want to change? The easiest method that we've been using so far is simply selecting each line. But as you see, every time we select an object, it only selects a small portion of the object. We can continue to select objects, and objects will be added to the selection. But this can be tedious and take a long time if you want to select the entire object again and again and again. So let's go ahead and hit, select, hit escape. Now if you want to select the entire object, there's two methods. One is called a window selection and the other is called a crossing selection. Now if we select here and drag towards the right, this is a window selection. If we drag towards the left, this is a crossing selection. Let's go ahead and hit escape. Let's pan the view down. Zoom in a little bit to this part. Center it a bit. Now let's select on the top left corner. Put the part within the box and select in the bottom right corner. This selects all objects within the box. Now if you only want to select certain objects, we can click on the right side, pull down, and you'll see this time the box is green. And what this does is it selects all the objects within the box and the lines or objects that are crossing the box itself. So if we select this portion, it grabs all the objects that were within it, which wasn't very many, and each of the lines that were crossing the window itself. Let's go ahead and hit escape one more time. This time, let's try a little different method. Let's select once, and instead of dragging to the left or dragging to the right to create a window or crossing selection, let's come down and create a fence. If I select fence, you see this new dashed line. Now everything that this dashed line goes through will be selected. You can go ahead and select a few times yourself. This will grab everything that the line crosses. So whatever you decide you want to select, just go ahead and run the crossing line through it. When you're done, you can go ahead and press the space bar. Now every object that the crossing line went through is now selected. If you need to add additional selections, you can always continue to select and selections will be added. What happens if you accidentally added something to the selection? For example, like these dimensions, but we didn't actually want them to be included. In order to remove objects from selecting, hold down the shift key and select the item again. This will remove objects from the selection. Go ahead and press escape. Let's zoom out and let's look at this bottom part. Again, let's try and select the entire object. We can do this from clicking the top left, making a window selection, and making sure the entire piece is within the window. Everything is highlighted, so we selected everything that we wanted to. Let's go ahead and select the top right corner, highlight the object again, and click. This time, the entire object was selected as well as the dimensions on the outside. This is because when you drag towards the left, the crossing window covered these lines and included these into the selection. Let's go ahead and hit escape to deselect. Pull down the menu. And let's try one more time to select and try a fence. And let's make a fence around the entire object. And as you may have guessed, once you press space or enter, we've selected the entire object. These are various methods that you can use to help select the different items you may want to modify.